What is up geeks? So today I'm very excited to unbox and review the Legacy Power Morpher from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series. And this is the special Power Rangers 20th Anniversary Edition. And it has all five coins for the original Power Rangers, which is amazing and I can't wait to show it off to you guys. So let's first take a look at the packaging here. I love the Legacy series packaging, the gold lettering, the shiny lettering. It looks very official, and this is definitely for adult collectors. You can even see here 15 plus, so I guess, you know, young adults, teens, um, this is for you as well. But uh, I love I love everything I see so far. I can't wait to unbox this thing. So this shows off one of the figures here. This is not the legacy figure um, as far as the 7-inch. I think this was back with the 3 uh, and 3 quarter inch five inch actually um line i could be wrong but please correct me if i am uh it's this is the armored version of the mighty Morphin red ranger which has the um power sword and the dragon dagger which i wish um you know the legacy series red ranger came with the power sword but anyway if you guys haven't checked out those reviews uh for the legacy figures please check those out i did the green ranger and red ranger by the way and here you can see again just showing off the morpher and I and I love how it comes with that little uh, holster it comes with the holster for the belt which I will probably use uh, when I decide to cosplay as the Red Ranger so here you can pause it if you would like to read the description and here it is in different languages and then the side just has a look at all five of the helmets there so let's unbox this thing and take a closer look at the morpher. Alright guys, so we have the power morpher outside of the package. And this thing is really great quality. Let's focus in on it. It's, it's just like it was on the show with the Power Rangers here. And it's all die cast metal. Uh, well, there's some plastic to it, but for the most part it's die cast metal. All the coins are die cast metal and it's just super high quality um i really love this version compared to the other versions they've released they released like a, a red blue and pink version and those coins are just all gold whereas this has like some distress on it and it really looks authentic to the show definitely looks like it's more real um so this is obviously the Tyrannosaurus coin and this this overall thing looks really great uh, I would say that I do not prefer this color um, although it's it's authentic to the show the Green Ranger White Ranger Power Morpher has a more gold looking like a real kind of gold looking um, back to it and this one is kind of like it kind of looks like it's a cheap toy but it's not too bad it still has a nice shine I do like the paint um, you have all the colors here, which is nice. And this uh, functions as uh, you'll see right here. If you press this, the coin comes out, which is really neat. So how, that's how it looks like. These black things here push that coin out. So the coins snap in. And I'll show you guys each of the coins and how they look. But let's see the other functionalities here. So this is, how you, uh, this is the handlebar, so you can grip it. Now there's an on and off switch. Now what's cool about this is it comes with the batteries, but the unfortunate downside of this product is that it uses um, a specific kind of battery that you're probably not going to own. You're going to have to go out and buy it. It's LR44 batteries. And so, you know, I'm not going to take it out now, but what you would do is unscrew this and they're just like two discs. Uh, and those kind of batteries, you know, those are not your typical like double A batteries or triple A. Um, so unfortunately, you're going to have to go out and buy those. Now, the, the thing is like the audio is not that loud. I'm guessing because this has been out for like three years now. Um, so I, I would have to go out and buy some new batteries, unfortunately. Um, but what else can I tell you about this? I really like the silver to it. It does have like a worn look to it. For sure like people have been using it I like that look I really like the distress um, so uh, the power coins let's go over the power coins so here it says mighty Morphin Power Rangers this is the back of every single power coin 
And here's another close look at the Tyrannosaurus. Okay, let's look at the Mastodon. Very nice. And again, all the backs are the same, so I really won't we'll go over the back too much. Pterodactyl. Got a saber tooth tiger. Looks really, really good, guys. Looks really great in person. And of course, Triceratops. And if you guys want to see how they all look in the Morpher, I'll do that as well. So let how about we go in order of the show? That would be nice. So when they were all morphing, we had Mastodon first. Then we had Pterodactyl. Then Triceratops. Saber Tooth Tiger. And last but not least. Tyrannosaurus again. Let's look at the holster. So it's pretty basic. This is plastic, but it fits really well into it. So you could put this on your belt, and I'll show you guys how it looks like on a belt as well. But there's two ways you could display this, which is really cool. And they've done both on the show, which is nice. Um, so, of course, I think this is the best looking version. Um, and this just kind of snaps into place. Okay. Now, being uh, that it's the shape that it is, there is a bit of a gap. So it's really meant to be displayed the other way, which they do do, they, they also do on the show. They display it like this, and it's more flush, which is pretty neat, and it's easier to, you know, take it out and morph with it. So that's nice. And of course, let's go over the functionality of the morpher. So the on switch, I got, a, I got that on right now. Now the this there's nothing that works here because you're supposed to be holding it like this upside down so when you you morph you're like that and you press this button but I'm gonna turn it to you guys so that way you can see how it works but uh, actually I'm gonna turn it off first because there's actually a function that happens once you turn it on and what's really cool is you can see that the light is going off in the background then I'm gonna press it once which is really nice that that happens when you morph and then there's an extra um, thing that happens when you hold down the button for a little while you can let go So that's pretty neat. It goes through the whole entire theme song. Um, it's really cool. Although the audio is kind of soft, um, I don't even know if you could, if you guys can hear it that well. It is very soft. Uh, I'm guessing it's the batteries. They just need to be changed. I'm hoping because um, if I put in some new batteries and it sounds the same volume, uh, that's going to be a bit of a disappointment. Um, I'm trying to see right now where the speakers are. It's probably, you know. Let me see. It has to be somewhere, maybe over here, because I see some slits. Um, it's possibly inside, and maybe that's why it has like that muffled sound to it. But overall, this thing is really, really cool. I have to say, it's definitely worth every penny. Um, I was able to get it for a cheaper price. I got lucky on eBay. Uh, I want to say I got it for about eighty bucks. Retail, 
a little bit cheaper. I think it was $50. Uh, I could be wrong, but um, there are, there have been a lot of different versions of this. There has been a version where uh, in order to play the theme song, you have to hold it down for the whole entire time. And if you let go, it stops, which is also a cool feature too. But I actually prefer this feature because um, you can stop it at any time by press, uh, just pressing this. Um, but guys, I want to show you guys how it looks like with the holster on the belt and as well as uh, me morphing with this uh, power morpher. Okay, so I've attached the holster to my belt. Now, unfortunately, the holster will not fit over a belt buckle. So as you see, I had to turn my belt around. Uh, I have a normal white belt here, and the holster just slips right on there. So it's not too bad. Um, so there's two ways, like I showed you early, to display this. I think this is the best looking way to have it like that. And of course, you can go the other way, which actually goes in a lot smoother. And this also allows for easy morphing. So you slip that out and that's it. You can morph. It's morphing time. Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops. Sabertooth Tiger, Tyrannosaurus. So before I end this video, I just want to show you my current Power Rangers display. I still have a ton of figures to review. They're all over there. And, uh, but this is my current display and I'm so excited because the movie is going to be coming out this year pretty soon. And so I want to have this all ready by then just to get the hype train going. So I have my Power Morpher here now with the coins. And I hope you guys like this review. I, I'm really satisfied with the product. And um, stay tuned. I have the Pink Ranger coming up, Black Ranger, Blue Ranger, and a couple of the other Red Rangers from different series. So stay tuned for all your Power Rangers action figure reviews. And of course, I also have a Smuggler's Bounty review for the latest Smuggler's Bounty box. So please stay tuned for that and more Star Wars reviews, guys. But thank you guys for watching. Until next time, embrace, express, and enjoy yourself. May the Force be with you always. My young Padawan.